Well, hey, look at what we have here. A box of complete uselessness. Oh, huh. Screw the Hogan. Somebody took a box, uh, somebody took a dump in this box. Mm -hmm, they sure did. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely horrible. Mm, terrible. Horrible, horrible, terrible, terrible, terrible horrible. Mm. Horrible, horrible. <laughs> Actually, but it does give us a chance to do this. I mean, this is something you never, you'll never get to see. Oh, Lord. I thought you were gonna do far worse than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 Let's oh, oh. Oh God! Put the bow on him. Oh, there. Oh, there went our PG rating. <laughs> shenanigans we happen to get into on Absolutely. this show. And happy holidays, everyone. If you're watching this, you've probably already opened whatever gifts or what have you. Oh, it's a Christmas episode? It is. Oh, it is. Jingle Bells, Batman Smells, and Robin Laden Egg. Wait, what? He did? Yes. And Batmobile lost a wheel and the Joker got away. Of course he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> he, you know. yeah. Yeah, anyway, right. uh, so uh, so yes, it's been uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Thank Obviously, you. we have not changed our clothes in over a month. No, we washed them already. Oh, yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, if you're watching this and you're a, a first time uh, first timer here, please like, share, and subscribe. We would love to quit our day jobs. Yes, we would. And 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 uh, you know we're approaching the new year and uh, new year, new everything. Uh, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about one of our favorite topics, beer. Oh, yeah, beer. Yes, yes, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. Well, okay, I'm kind of joking around, Okay, folks. yeah, yeah. What we actually are referring to. Beer is, was tasty at a point, but. Yes, but, but we're but, now old. Yes, we're now old and we, <laughs> we, we cannot handle the, uh, the, the, the libations as much as we used to. No, but you know what? But sparingly. We, recently, you and I, um, we've talked on the show several times about the fact that you and I have worked in the professional wrestling world. Yes, we have. And uh, I ended my in-ring career. Uh, yes, you, you did. You ended your career. Yep, can't do it. Pretty much period at this point. Can't do it anymore, and there's reasons why, and I don't want to get into it, no. but I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out and supporting us. It was a fabulous eight years. It was a nice little run. I pretty much got to do everything that yeah. the wrestling business had to offer, yeah. and I am happy with the way that I went out, and if you weren't there to see it, sucks to be you. I, well, I, uh, I did it for 20 years, and um, I'm really glad that I could... Go out in the match that I went out with, and also glad that I could be there for your last contest. Oh, thank you. Where his character and mine had a drinking contest. At, oh, don't you quote that? Yeah, was, is that the worst idea at, we ever had? At a bar show we were at. Now, now for those of you, since now it's all over and everyone's seen it. Yes. We'll let everyone on the secret. We had a we had a bottle there that had vodka on the label, but we had it filled with water so that we weren't killing ourselves. Oh, good right? God. Well, the problem was is that the promoter, our good friend Corey, that wasn't satisfactory enough for him. Not at all. So he 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 bought us drinks and then encouraged the audience to do the same. Yes. And by the time that we reached our final segment on the show, right, you and I may have allegedly uh, had enough. Yes, yes, yes. That's had, a very good way to put it. Had enough. Thank thankfully, Chad the Grip. Was our designated driver? Very this much evening. so. Yes, we gratefully thank Cad the Grip for that happening. Yeah. The bar we were at was a place called JB Love Draft. Yes, yes, which is a very, very nice place. Great and place, great people. Uh, we we absolutely love performing at that bar. If you like libations, libations. Yes, yes we'll go with that. Yes, they they are their own brewing company. They they have great stuff. They have great product. And um, some months back, they actually worked with a good friend of theirs, 
who owns a collectible toy store in our area. Named Retro and Rad. Yes, the store is Retro and Rad. And they developed a retro beer yes. that was to be reminiscent of Saturday morning cereal that you would have consumed while you had cartoons. So it was sort of this fruity uh, sort of beer or whatever. It was, it, it was really, really good. Um, and you and I, and, and to launch it, mm-hmm. they not only launched the beer, but they had a toy show right there in the bar. Yeah, it was fantastic. And you and I... We're there for it. Yes, we and were. It, well, a little, well, a little segment we like to refer to as '80s allies on, on the, the road. road. Check it out. Jim and Larry do. Jim, of course, is holding the camera. Say hi to the good people, Jim. Hi, people. Oh, there you go. We are here because Retro and Rad have decided that they are going to do a short mini convention. I guess it's the best way we can explain it. We're going to go inside, take a look around, see what they have to offer. And from what I understand, there's a special adult fermented beverage that they're brewing just for this occasion and possibly later other occasions. Absolutely. Let's go inside. It is not a drink uh, container. No, no, that that's, piece that's, right there is, totally states that it is no, not no, no, a no, drink no, container. No, remember, remember is we're on this. Is that part of glass? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, that's not a drink container. I didn't notice that. That is not well, a you, drink container. Well, both, I'm going to keep that. Both, <laughs> both of you knock it off. We are trying not to get canceled. Yeah, all right. Okay, cool. I'm going to put that back. <laughs> it's a bomb. Uh, I didn't notice it. It's hard. I didn't even notice it. Let me see. Do you want it back? Uh, wait a second. Uh, it was just a little off the top, not the whole head. Yeah. Yes, 
the people from Retro and Rad are here. Howdy. Well, we're just we're very curious. So, how did you uh, how did you get hooked up with this whole beer thing? How did this happen? Uh, I like beer and I like toys, and we're friends. So we made a beer, and it tastes really good. It, it does taste very very good. I have to say, I'm, I'm very refreshing. Yes, very sweet to the point. Yes. No, we were matters. we ran into Kelly years back when they first opened in Des Moines, I believe it was. Cumberland. Yeah. Cumberland. Yeah. Cumberland. Yeah. Forgive me. Allies, is there any time you'd like to talk to us? And you said sure. And, well, then, we, and then we, then we didn't get back. No, because it was it was a weird year and a half. But now right. we're here, and now we're at your event. How's your event going so far? It's been bonkers, as you can kind of see and hear. I bet it's it's been really busy and having a lot of fun, and we're selling toys and we're drinking beer. And I mean, what what more could you ask for, honestly? Literally, it. it's really? all I want. So I'm here and I'm ready to try Toys, our Retro and Red, which is a sour ale that they've got here at Love Traps in honor of this occasion. Let's try it. This is really, really good. This is really good. If you're a sour kind of guy, this is for you. Tons of fruit. Tons of flavor, absolutely fantastic. All right, wait, wait, I got to get, get a customer's perspective. What do you think of that? I, uh, I got to say, it's spot. Good stuff, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I, th I thought it was very refreshing. Oh, you know, the texture, the taste. Good Chef, stuff. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Brewer's kiss. I, I, I don't know the terminology of it, but... Awesome. Evan delicious. Awesome. 100%. Just making it known, Toys for the Ages is That's coming right. back. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. be there. My name is Andy Cook. I am the owner and the founder of Toys for the Ages and Toys for the Ages uh, Expo. We've been doing the uh, Expo for roughly uh, four years now. Um, so we're getting bigger and better. And we are uh, Pennsylvania's premier vintage toy expo. If you want vintage toys, make sure you stop out in the Expo because you'll, you'll find what you need there. That's for sure. So we've had a wonderful time at Love Draft. We saw some things we didn't think that we'd see. We saw a bunch of people that we haven't seen in a while. We had some good beer too. We had some, well, you had some good beer. I watched you drink it, and I lived vicariously through your num 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 num. num. He did, yes, yes, yes. I did. But yeah, if, if you have a chance to check out one of these events again, I guess it was considered a pop-up. Pop-up Comic-Cons or pop-up toy conventions like this are happening all over the United States. And we were fortunate enough to grab one of these here at Love Drafts in Atlanta. And so, if you can get here to Love Drafts, by all means do, whether there's a toy show or not. It's a great place. They're very retro-friendly, great group of people, great food, and great beer. Yeah, and well, we're going to go talk to some of those people that we met. I'm uh, going to have more beer. You're going to have more beer. From Larry, this is Jim. From Jim, this is Larry. We'll see you later, allies. Now, as you might have noticed in 80s Allies on the Road, this gentleman's dad, um, yeah, he, he, he was dressed up in a way that uh, probably shouldn't have been sold there at, uh, at the wonderful toy, stop, uh, toy store. And as I got it home and, and took a look at it, it wasn't very clean. <laughs> So, uh, oh, you mean you mean the tobacco pipe? Yes, the found. tobacco pipe that I found that is only meant for tobacco. Correct. And nothing else went in it other than tobacco. tobacco. So when you have the so please YouTube don't don't delete this. Yeah, because yes. the, the, it was very very clear that this tobacco pipe mm -hmm. was tobacco -ly used and was sold to me as a tobacco pipe. Yes. But uh, yeah, I don't know how that got under the radar. But I made sure that I got it out of the building as quickly as well, possible. Well, you know, oddly enough, the seller didn't realize what it was. Yes, and that was the cute part. They thought it was something like this. Yes. And so when we pointed it out, they were like, oh my God, we got to get this out of here yeah. immediately. They were, they were very... Uh, very concerned. Like, well, what if you sell it to me for five bucks to remove it for you? Yeah. Yes. And, and they that's... said, that sounds great. Yes, and they were that... more than happy to get rid of yes, it. Yes, yes, they were. So, yeah, clearly that thing's going to be an oddity and we're going to put it on the shelf. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, it's uh, it was a good time and we're, uh, I've, I've talked to... Um... I've talked to some folks, and this may be something they do again. I'm hoping that oh, they do. Oh, yeah, so. Because they, so they sold out of it almost immediately. I mean, it was... Oh, the beer. Yeah, it, oh, it was gone. Oh, I thought you were gone. talking about all the toys that they had there. No, it was, the beer was gone. I, I'm pretty sure 
the the canned beer was gone by the end of that weekend. Oh. And the what they had on tap, you know, they, they had so yeah, much. Yeah, the draft. Yeah, that was that was gone shortly thereafter. So do they do growlers the, there? I do not know. Love drafts. If you see this, uh, by all means, you know, comment. Let us know if you if you do that sort of thing. I know that they do cans. Yeah, because I'm not be, certain if they do growlers. It'd be too easy for somebody to pull a growler up. Hey, let me get some of that limited edition. Boom, there you go. Yeah, lo- but Love Drafts does all sorts of different types of shows, guys. They do wrestling shows. They do drag shows. They do. They have done a toy show now. So if they you're, have bands. Absolutely. So if you're in the local area. By all means, give them, give them a look-see. You'll have a good time. It's a great place. And their arcade is, uh, it, it's not vast, but it's got some of those lovely games that you absolutely love. It does. Quarter after quarter after quarter in. So yeah. please go enjoy those as well. Yeah, it really, it really, really does. And, you know, you know, speaking of things that we really, really enjoy. Um, we enjoy a lot of things. We do, but we do enjoy music. And I'll tell you who else enjoys music. Colby! Yes, our good friend, the 12-string wonder of the world, Colby Dove. And here we are with another episode of CTV. Makes you wonder what if he, if he would have named himself Enchilada, if his career would have taken a turn. Oh, well, burrito. Mm. Well, no, that was that was uh, interesting. There, you're you're uh, you. you what did you think of that video? I mean, you were there. You 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 saw it firsthand, and uh, I still questioned what they were on back in the day. And yeah, uh, I'm glad somebody enjoyed that video, and it got made, and. People got paid, and the projection crew needed the money. It always makes me wonder what the camera guy is thinking when he's filming this. I, we should we should probably ask him at some point. Yeah, I don't know. it was like, I don't know. why 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 am I doing this? Do I need the money that badly? What I want to know is, who did you pay to get that lower third? I know a guy. I don't get lower thirds like that. Well, you should talk to the guy who puts the editing together. Okay. Let's... No. No, no, this is just sideways for like, share, and subscribe. Don't we have a show to do? We, we, we do have a show to Go do. Go to the next topic, we, Jim. We do have a show to do. You know, you know, I have another bone to pick with you, by the way. I have many of bones. Uh, I, I, yeah, I have another bone to pick with you. You know, but before the mysterious disappearance of Adrian... Yeah, it happens. Uh, there, was, there was this uh, recording that you two did. Oh, yeah! In the Wayback Machine that has to deal with a certain force of robots that uh, that you lovingly have. And clearly, somebody here at the table did not see the cartoon. So, with uh, with without further ado, you know, me and my buddy Adrian decided that we were going to review something out of love and respect and annoyance to Jim. So, here we go with the one few few times where I actually get to sit in with Over the Top with Adrian. Topic, RoboForce. Hey allies, if you notice I'm sitting here next to Adrian who looks so happy to be with me today. And no, we aren't reviewing Challenge of the GoBots, we are reviewing RoboForce, The Revenge of Nazgar. And I don't know, that, that spelling looks questionable. Yeah, it, it does look questionable. You look familiar. Like, I, I know, I know you, but you look like somebody else, and it's bugging me. I can't put my finger on it. Like, I, I have this urge to, like, twitch, and I don't know why. So, 
Bruce Willis gets the same feeling too. He's like, you look like Larry. And I'm like, yeah, you know. No. 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 But anyway, we're reviewing uh, Robo Force: The Revenge of Nazgar, one of Jim's favorite toy lines. And when I discovered this, Jim, I knew there was no better person to review this than you, Adrian. I, I, I appreciate that. I, I really do. I, you swear I don't know you from anywhere else. Like just here. Yeah, just, just here. Sitting behind the desk. Just here. You should say something. Something. Say something. something. Something louder. Say it louder. Something. Can you say oh, something? hey, the cartoon started. Oh god. I'm starting to think that this was a bad idea. You think? Was that did he have a fan on his head? So you know, the animation quality has already stepped up, I can tell you from everything else that you know I've had to review. Yeah, I've gotta agree with you there. Um so Boss! The music's nice and serene. It is, it's very very mellow, very yeah. calm. This is written by Flint Dill. F Flint Dill. Flint Dill. That sounds like a very bad night. Like, I got a Flint Dill. So I gotta go to the doctor. Robots don't talk, Dr. Fury. If you ever have one tell you otherwise, he's lying. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have put that jump program in you. Joke. He put a joke program in here. Oh. Is that the only thing he put in on? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. You see that long ass code he has on there. You are. Is that Cobra Commander? Agent of NASCAR. I will never have you. It sounds like saying Agent of NASCAR. Yes, it does. I'm wondering who gave these trash cans laser guns. I, I, I don't know. Uh, they, they hit them with laser powered squirt guns. Why does. That is definitely a fan on this head. That's an adult looking kid. I better go down and take a look. Daddy. He keeps saying daddy. That is, you sure that's not an adult? That was Benjamin Button. It, was, well, it looked like Benjamin Button because if you look at the hairline and stuff. Like, Well, this looks like it said 10 years later, so we're 10 years in the future now. Really? Because, I mean, he, he, that kid was 10 years, 10 years in the future. Today, Celestia's late. Yeah, exactly. Oh, They're talking about NASCAR again. Like, Earnhardt was in this. NASCAR is just a legend. Only fools believe in him. We need to ask the mullets if they saw this. NASCAR is no legend, Councilman Frost. Watch Back to the cartoon. I'm trying to figure out why that her outfit is so damn tight. Well, that's how they dress. Really? In the future? Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Everything's tight. Uh, you sne if she sneezes, you're going to see a birth canal. Yeah. <coughs> Somebody, she dropped a dreidel. Is this going anywhere? I, I, I'm going to sleep. I yeah, this is that. this is like the most boring action cartoon I've ever seen in my it's life. Like, it, it's how I'm saying. Like, this is crazy. It's like, you know what kids enjoy? Congress. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Diplomacy. It's so exciting. <laughs> yes. A blonde-haired, blue-eyed woman. Yeah, that doesn't say... Yeah, up, up, oh, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. They got robot bounces. Yeah. I, I didn't know you were strong enough to punch metal. Like, is that, is that what happened in prison? Well, well, you know, they're in a bar. Uh, that guy clearly looked like he was on something. His nose uh, was red and stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, and he's sweating. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Back to the 80s. Yeah. Somebody's watching me. Well, you're a blonde woman in the street! Where down in, an alley! Yeah, you, you, you tight ass clothes. They're doing close ups on a fart box. How did we end up in the sea? So they got an underwater castle did and they, everybody's dry. And, and, and nobody mentioned this whatsoever. No. No, nobody knows what to do. We don't know how we ended up here. He got a wrench on his back. You saw the end. Oh, he's got a drill. He got a drill. So they finna go do construction. Like what's gonna happen? Well, he's firing off his weapon inside a submarine. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick. Like, un yeah, no. No, isn't that like against all regulation? You're like, you know, what if you puncture a hole? 
What? Is that the little kid from from the beginning? No, I think that's the grown up kid from the beginning. And that's that, a grown up grown up kid. Yeah, and then that's his brother. Oh, uh, oh, okay, okay. So his brother didn't. His brother looks like you know Fair Fawcett, and now he looks okay. That makes sense. I want to know how the robots are in the water. <laughs> yeah, because isn't it like oh they they're waterproof. They can't be waterproof. This was the eighties. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, uh, yeah. an action figure in a bathtub. I wouldn't. I'm not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> Oh, okay. So they punctured a hole into the, and it's drowned inside, but yes. they're underwater. Yes. Oh, oh okay. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know what this cartoon's missing. Logic. Yeah, yeah, lots of it. Lots, lots of yeah. it. Oh, there's a little water. Oh, there's a little water. Wait, you. Oh, hold up. They put a man-sized hole in a castle underwater, but it's only that much water inside. Yes. And she's just standing there like, thanks. Yes, I knew you were coming. <laughs> I, I've seen movies start like this, by the way. Guy kicks in the door and she just sits up there, like, imposingly waiting, like, oh, you showed up here. Did it involve a plumber? Uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, involve sometimes. a pizza man. Uh, somebody oh, farted. Uh, is somebody that... Yep, somebody farted. Somebody definitely farted. Yeah. Somebody farted and he passed out. You saw it. Oh, now it's flooding? Inserting human brains into robot bodies. Inserting human brains into, into robot, robot bodies. bodies. Sounds like sex. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that easy? You just, just decided to agree that easy? Yeah. You got it. Yep, there's lasers and robots with no legs just roaming around willy-nilly. And, yeah, uh, and a small flood. And a small, small little hole. Yeah. That was deep underwater. No buildup of, of water. No pressure. No. Didn't no. didn't consider that. No. The deeper you go in the water, the, the more tighter it gets. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's an underwater flyer. Yeah. That was. That was. That was. That was the thing. It was fire in the water. Lost. I have a positive correlation on the cliffs of the lost. Then let's get stop him. Wait, how do I, what, what, how, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He was on a couch with a with a weapon in his mouth, and then all of a sudden he magically got up and jumped out the window. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Uh, cocaine is a hell of a drug. Cocaine. Oh yeah, we we're past cocaine. Yeah, now. we. I have no idea what's going on. I know they need three crystals to resurrect Nazgar. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you do a lot of crystal to, to watch Nazgar. Some kid's gonna watch this and think that's how you're supposed to play with your Robo Force. Toys. No, 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 no. Some kid's gonna watch this and gonna need therapy is what's gonna happen. We should ask Jim. It explains a lot. It does, doesn't it? it explains yeah. a lot. How many times do you think he sat here and watched the spinning crystals? Uh, you know what? It, oh, God, I hope not. Wait, well, what the hell? What's Mumra doing here? Mountains just kind of explode, and now there's a fortress of death. And... Okay, so inside the mountains was a fortress that got blown up, but it didn't touch the fortress, blew up the mountain. That, oh my god, my brain cannot take it. What is. Well, uh, that was RoboForce there, uh, Adrian, and. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go have a conversation with Jim and ask him why he enjoys these, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Jim! Hey, Jim, I want to talk to you about this thing that we just saw! Jim? Jim? I think I had an aneurysm. Oh, okay, so we just reviewed RoboForce. So many questions. So many questions. So, here we go. There was a lot of phallic symbols. So, so Dick was definitely on the brain of whoever was doing this. Did I don't understand why? I, I've seen a lot of the innuendos in this, and there was that, that I've seen movies of the adult kind that had a lot of this stuff in it. 
Um, explain to me how you gonna have a castle underwater and somebody punches a hole in it and there's a leak. A leak. A small leak. They had no legs. They had no legs. That was the most adult looking child I've ever seen in my life. Like adult. Like he probably had a credit score of 570 at the time when he got out of bed because he was tall as shit. I, I just, I, I'm trying to, like, my head, because if you see, the, the brain had had a, had a nose and some eye, what, why? Why? I, I can't sum this up in the, bless your heart. Bless your heart. I need a doctor. Can my head still here? I'm, I'm going to talk to somebody about this. this, this I can't be doing this stuff. I am amazed at the voice actors that they got in that. I mean, absolutely amazed because they got the voice actress from Voltron. They got a voice actor from Gobots. They got a voice actor from Transformers. I mean, it was a stacked cast. You cannot deny the fact that that was a stacked cast. The execution, on the other hand. You know what? I, I All the joking aside, I have to say, I don't know what happened there. That that cartoon was atrocious. It really was. And here's the funny thing. I had never seen the cartoon as a kid. Really? Ne never. The, 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 the day that that was filmed is the very first time I'd ever seen the cartoon. Really? Yeah. So I had no idea it was going to be that bad. And I was surprised because some of the names associated, not only as the voice cast, right. but as the people producing it, are the people that brought us things like G.I. Joe. Yes. Transformers. Yes. So like, I couldn't imagine that this was that horrible, but it, it, was, it, was, not, it was not good. Well, what caught me off guard, and here is... Here's how you know when you like go from the, uh, the 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 penthouse to the outhouse. Yeah. All right. First off, the cartoon looked amazing. Yeah. I mean, all things considered, the art style that they chose was fantastic. Like, it just it fit in. It, it fit in with the time it, period. It fit in with the time period, and it was more of an up to date. I like the gloss of it. Mm -hmm. The voice actors they got for it, freaking amazing. Just their their laundry list of accomplishments and accolades that they received. Mm -hmm. The shame of it is, it just it, it could have been something. Story, on yeah, the it other was bad. Hand. It was really bad. The, yeah, no, it it was it was bad, and you know it probably contributed to one of the reasons the toy line didn't do so well. Uh, but you know, since then the toy line has returned. It's yes, come it has. back uh, thanks to a uh, Nacelle Corporation. Uh, we now have a brand new Max Steel, and that uh, that we reviewed on a live episode. Uh, and since then, I've picked up Wrecker. These are the two figures that are out now. And I'm happy to report that Nacelle has been moving along. Yes. And they have. They, have, they have a new cartoon that is going to debut for the RoboForce with a brand new story and everything else. They're going to try and make good on what was not good before. No. And um, one of the things that they're going to do is they're also going to be releasing some more figures. And um, one of the things I said when I reviewed this was I felt this box was a little plain. And uh, they've actually listened. Oh! They've updated it. Uh, I, they were displaying some of their stuff at, um, at Toy Fair. Uh, and it showed the new packaging and everything. It looks really, really good. So here again, there's, there's updated uh, RoboForce. More stuff is coming. These are really, really, really super nice. If you get a chance to buy them, um, I highly recommend them. And I don't have necessarily all his accessories with him. But he and Wrecker are still available out there. You can usually find them for sale different places and so on and so forth. So by all means, they even have the little suction cups on the bottom the way they did back in the day there. And uh, it's, there yeah. you go. We are going to, or, or I'm in the process of pulling out my notes because they have managed to uh, release some other toy lines along with yes the, biker the mice from Force mars i believe is one of them uh, sectars which sectars. We, we talked about last season those figures are finally hitting the street as well and they look phenomenal i have not seen one in person yet but they look great so uh by all means guys uh check these guys out they're they're really really cool and they're they're really chunky. They're really yeah. they're heavy. They're really yeah. You can knock somebody out with that. Yeah, yeah. This this could definitely break a window. Uh, they, they are they are really something. 
Oh my goodness! They're uh, let's uh, just taking a look at things. They've got yeah. the biker mice from Mars. They've got sectars. Yeah. Lenny Bruce, Bill Hicks. They're doing a bundle of stand-up comedians. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's there's this wrecker. Uh, looks like uh, the the first wave of Max eighty nine has sold out. Yeah, Max eighty nine. My eye, Max Steel. Um, he is sold out on their website, but you can still get him at other retailers. So. And I've seen them on eBay too, relatively affordably as well. So okay, by all now, means. now here's a couple of things that catch caught me by so they're doing Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I did not know that one. Uh, Mark Spears Monsters. That'll be interesting. That'll be very interesting. They've got the uh, the trading cards and and everything. Uh, let's see. Oh, a uh, Kevin Smith Silent but Deadly uh, comic book. It looks like. Gargoyles, uh, they're looks like they're re releasing uh, the Toy Collector magazine. I don't know how well that's going to do because print is very, very interesting these days, but yeah, whole lots of things coming out here at the Nacelle, Nacelle Toy Company. I know that the with the biker mice from Mars, I know you didn't mention this, but because you didn't see it in the feed there, but it's not just the figures, they also are obviously going to release the bikes, yes, so that they're, they're coming as well. So, uh Good on you, Nacelle. We'll be watching you and continue all the hard work. Those guys are really killing it over there and working really hard. Did despite the fact that there's there's a few areas of opportunity with these guys, but they know it. Yes. And they're working to improve on what they've done. Did so. I see something that they were also working the Micronaut angle, or is that uh, is, is that something my brain made up right now? If they are, I don't know about it. I, I, I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I, I fear that I didn't do near as much research as I apparently should have for Nacelle. Yes. yes. <laughs> and, 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 and I have to agree that sometimes I just make stuff up. <laughs> we'll but, have to get back to you on that one. But, you know, last show we were talking about you this. You know, you know, and, and, and I'm going off, off the cuff and off script. Go right ahead. You know, that just happens to be the right size of a centurion. Oh yes, the center, the one where you connected all the yeah, stuff to them. Yeah, connected all the stuff to yeah. them. Yes. Hmm. I know Nacelle has acquired any number of franchises. Hmm. I don't know if they have that one or not. I, I and I have been saying for years the franchise I would love to see come back and somebody do something with uh, is in humanoids. Yes, very much so. So I, I think Hasbro still owns that property, but boy, I'm not sure. Oh boy, if Nacelle got a hold of Inhumanoids yeah. and Centurions and slammed those two together. Now I'm, now I'm throwing Now you're just off. breaking stuff. I just wanted to say, though, that one of the things I love about this is they even thought so much. Look at the range of movement on these The these articulation. Arms. I mean, you know, it's they're all over the place here. They're very, very cool. Uh, it's just, I love this guy. I think this interpretation of Max, when I first got him, I wasn't sure, but he's really grown on me the longer I've had this. I really, I really, really like him. He, he really turned out well. But, uh, you know, speaking of toys, uh, of course, uh, here we are. The, the silly season is now coming to a close. Yes. But uh, on Black Friday, while most people were watching, were watching the debut of, of season three and liking and sharing and subscribing, they uh, they also should be in, should know easy 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 oh, easy, oh I'm easy, sorry easy. I'm sorry I'm sorry got carried away yeah <laughs> uh, they, they they also heard there on that show that I uh, decided to see what it would be like I never worked retail yes that's because you just told you yeah, told them less yeah. what you were going to be yeah, doing yeah I, I never worked retail before and I had been talking with Alan and uh, he was saying about you know Black Friday and two stores and blah 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 and I said well I said do you need help. I said, I'd be glad to come down and film my experience and everything. And he, he said, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. So I decided to see what it would be like to work in a toy store. N not just any toy store, but one of the largest collectible toy stores in the country on Black Friday in a mall. Check it out. What is up, everyone? It is uh, Black Friday. Uh, it is currently 7.45 in the morning. And I am up and out of the house, showered and shaved and cleaned up and medicated and not yet caffeinated, but I'm going to be, uh, because I am on my way to Eternia Dreams to volunteer to help the store here on Black Friday. I have never worked retail before in my life. I have no idea how this is going to go, and I, 
I pray I do a good job so Alan doesn't have to fire me. All right, so I've made it to uh, I've made it to the mall. Um, I don't know what's going on in the parking lot here. There's all kinds of like these vans and such craziness. But uh, in any case, I'm about to go in and uh, get the day started here. Um, I don't know if the mall's even open yet. It's uh, well, it's not even quite 9:30 yet. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll be back with you. What's weird about doing this is that uh, I have a bit of anxiety because uh, I really want to do a good job for Alan. I've never done this before. So it's a busy day here at the store. I'm getting a lot done. Now because I've never worked here before and I'm just helping out, uh, I have been given this. box of comics. <clears throat> I had to be taught to use the price gun. I went through that. It's all alphabetized already. I had to go through and then go through the boxes here and see if we had the comic already on the floor. It's matching in this and then match the price on it and then price them. Now I'm taking this to Nikki and someone will go through the process of putting these things and feeding them in where they belong and then what's left over that isn't on the floor that doesn't have a duplicate on the floor someone's gonna have to price check and get a price for it's a lot of work I don't think people realize just how much work goes in behind the scenes to make this happen so the next task of the day has been working on this bin right here pulling all of those out of the Ziploc bags that the person who sold them to Alan had them in making sure everything's accounted for and getting it packaged up the next step will be somebody has to price those and then put them out again it's all about the time that gets put into this process to get everything ready for the store um, it's just it's a ton of work we also have had people in and out all day customers and so forth it is Black Friday of course and uh, sales are happening so uh, on to the next thing as you can see there's so much work to do she's just there even between customers and between making sales, bagging things. What you bagging? Uh, Simpsons. Oh yeah. Buy that one. I'm filming Nikki's hands because I was digging in these boxes for just a couple of hours yes. organizing and my fingers were, they looked like I had been through a war. How do you keep your nails? I'm just so used to working with nails. Oh. I do not. <laughs> you lie. It's not new nails every day? No. Oh. It's usually right, once every two weeks. Bye. Well, I think that's about standard, if I recall correctly. Have what? I think every two weeks is about standard. Yeah, or so. that is yeah. standard. Yeah. Alan. Huh. I guess Alan's never had his nails done. Yeah. Which... He won't. He won't. Oh, manicures no are fantastic. <laughs> Alan. You need to get a manicure. <laughs> Trust me. Especially when they start massaging your hands. Good stuff. Day 892 of sorting things at Attorney of Dreams. I think I just spent the last 25 minutes very concerned <clears throat> over this guy and another figure just like him. Wondering why I could search online and not figure out what the story was. Only to find out that they came with a vehicle. Each of them. Not the same vehicle. If you ever come into one of these stores, whether it's here at Attorney of Dreams or otherwise, and have the audacity to complain about the price of something, given how much effort has to go into identifying everything and getting no don't even don't even try to do that let me show you something else here hang on hang on just a second here look at this this is how this came in a bag 
you've got three figures, three different figures, and then this massive collection of weapons that you hope belongs to those three, but might not. The search now begins. Hopefully I won't grow roots while trying to figure this, these three out. There it is. <laughs> Alan just spent about 15 minutes <laughs> looking for the vehicle. So total, you and I have spent approximately 30 minutes just dealing with that one figure. This is what I, I just said in my previous video here that if anyone comes into the store like this and complains about the price, yeah. they should probably be smacked. Yeah. Because so, the amount of effort this takes. Look at this, masters. people. That's the one thing I wasn't sure about. Mock Masters. We do 20% off Mock Masters. Yeah. Oh, we can't off anything today. And all the while this is going on, he is still handling customers. <laughs> Thank goodness for Google Lens. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's kind of the light This is, ladies and gentlemen, I cut hair for a living. Like, when I'm not editing video, I'm cutting hair. <laughs> Way easier than. Now you understand where my gray hair comes from. <laughs> I'm gaining gray hair sitting here. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. I, I may get fired. So, I may get fired. Yeah. I'm supposed to. Setting it up so later on you can come in and steal from the baggies. Uh -huh. that, 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 that's or not true. Or, I would, or somebody else can get, get the blame. I would never. Uh -huh. Listen. Put one stable on listen, these. I would never steal from Alan. Now, granted, if that version 4 of the Alley Viper disappears, I know nothing about it. I'm, bl I'm blaming Niggy right away. <laughs> Probably got like this closet full of toys. Everybody's like extra waters and drinks from the cooler and stuff. She just keeps them. I mean, there is a display. Yeah. Boss. Just about the time you think it ends, Alan finds more action figures. <laughs> We've been at this hours. 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 I got here. I got here before 10 o'clock this morning, and we've been working... That was 4.30. Yeah, all day long. <laughs> we've done four figures. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've accomplished nothing, but I know we've accomplished a lot. Yeah. But this is you, day in, day out, every day. I'm gonna go home and do this all night. This is, this is, this is wild. It's super tedious to feel like you haven't gotten anywhere. Like, the process takes so much longer. You don't just get all these loose figures and they're already done and packaged ready to sell. That's, that's why you're, no, if you notice, you go to most of your pre shows nowadays. That's why you see so much of the modern stuff. It's so much easier to go to Walmart, add 5, 10, 20 bucks, 30 bucks on top of itself that way. Versus going back and doing your homework and packaging it and identifying it. Well, the thing that I'm learning with, because I was never a huge G.I. Joe guy, so I'm having to learn that, like, there's, you know, a figure, you know, like, this character right here has probably been released 32 times and looks almost identical each time, maybe except for a paint application or whatever, and you have to try to figure out what year it is and then was it individual or did it come with a vehicle or... So fun. Alan's definition of fun and mine. That's why I asked Nikki. Nikki goes to sleep so much because she's like, I'm just, aren't you tired? And I'm like, oh, I love this. And she's just, you just dying. I mean, I, you know what? I think the only reason I'm not happier is because I don't know what I'm doing. That's, yeah, you know what I mean? So I feel like I'm, a, I'm so afraid I'm going to make a mistake and something's going to get messed up. And then Alan's going to fire me. Again, I think he's already fired me like three times today. I think his fingers are super cool. <laughs> Dude, yeah. So to give you an idea how this works, essentially what I'm doing is I'm using Google Lens to take a picture of the figure that I have in front of me. From there, I have to scroll through and find 
the image that most matches it. Now, this one happens to be a 2001 Cobra Commander. However, there was an 80s version of it released, so you have to pay very close attention that you've got the right one. And uh, once you do that, you make sure it's complete, which in this case it is. I will fill out a, uh, a topper card, and then I'll bag him. Uh, write what it is on the card and that it's complete, staple it together, and he'll be good to go. Well, that's the day, the table is empty. The table's empty. It it took. <laughs> it is now five o'clock. We officially have a full day of work in by anybody's schedule, and I feel like we accomplished. We we actually did accomplish something. We did. We we definitely put up. I mean, we did over probably two hundred figures, which is pretty great. Now they still need to go back and price them and all that, but. Do you see, like, if you had a price to them, we got a third of that done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, see, right now, since I won't be here the rest of the week, I have to put all my supplies away, and then the next person who comes in and gets a chance to start has to pull it all back out. That's the crappy part. Fortunately, my day is done, too. <laughs> I'm crying on the inside. I'm finally in the car. It's been 12 hours that I've been on the go. This retail thing is definitely not for me. It is it is a lot more difficult than I anticipated. It was a lot more challenging than I anticipated, and I cannot believe the amount of work that Alan and his team put in to, to putting together what you see when you walk into the stores. I knew they worked hard. I didn't realize it was as tedious as it was. Um, when you see them, if you enjoy the store, thank them for their efforts because it's a lot of hard work. It's been very interesting. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I want to thank uh, Alan and his team for having me there. Uh, uh, I tried not to retard the process too much, and uh, it was a neat thing, and I hope you guys got a little bit of inside information watching how it goes down. Well, there you go. Uh, that was... Uh Man, was it busy. Boy, that happened. It did. It did. That totally happened. It did. That, it was... that whole thing went on just like uh, it was supposed to. Yes. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> there was an amazing an amazing thing happened. There were people and places we're and just... things happened. And... You're just breaking the fourth wall oh, completely yeah, here. Oh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of stuff that went on. We, we recorded this part here before that part took place. And I hope it went well. And I hope you enjoyed the segment. Was Adrian did, here? Did, what the? What in the world? What is that? That looks like a fuse, but it looks it is like a fuse. something Adrian might have carried around in his pocket. What do you? Wh why? Why are you so concerned? Why, Never mind. Why, why are you? Huh? Uh, you wouldn't happen to have anything to do with Lair Man? Of course not. Or... I don't even know who you're talking about. Oh right. Yeah. Never uh, met him. Oh, you weren't. You didn't. You didn't see the last show where 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 Lair Man has a new assistant now. No, apparently? no. I have no clue what what's going on. Speaking of which, did you manage to get those Creo GI Joes that we were talking about last show when you were working Black Friday? I guess you have to wait till you open your gift. I guess I too. will, won't I? Yeah, absolutely. I, something tells me I might be mildly disappointed. <laughs> Well, you know, these things happen. Folks, we got a lot more coming up this season. By all means, stick with us. And something that we failed to tell you is, is starting next uh, next year, depending on when you see this, uh, we're, we're we're moving locations. Not from here. This this here, of course, will be part of We'll our, always be in the alley. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll yeah, always yeah. be in the alley for our, 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 our seasonal seasonal shows but when we do our weekly updates mm -hmm. when we do our weekly updates there are some things going on in the background we are going to change as you know that we have been doing weekly updates what could you be talking about Larry? i know our weekly updates you don't even know i mean there aren't podcasts too coming up are there there there, there might be i don't know haven't i don't know why i started talking like frank oz doing uh I was say, you sound like Grover there Doing for a Grover. minute. Oh, oh. This is near. Yeah. This is far. But anyway, what we have coming up for you in the future, which is absolutely amazing, is, uh, as you know... You did not do the near and far thing. That was good. That no, was good. I, wait, wait, thank you. I try. I try my best. <laughs> the things I do to get a laugh out of these gentlemen. Oh, God. And when I say gentlemen, is you don't see who's behind the camera. But anyway, what I am trying to articulate, yes, and I should probably get to the point, yes, you know, is we usually did a Wednesday 
to or a Wednesday six thirty to seven thirty show live on uh, yep live, live on Facebook live on Facebook and we got some pretty decent response out of that we did and the we last did. one that we did uh, I had to do by myself because you were you were indisposed and we decided that Wednesdays weren't really working out for us the way that we had hoped to or right. we had planned because you know life goes on. Uh, I ended up starting taking night classes on Wednesday, so it's kind of hard to shoot a YouTube show or a, a Facebook show or a live show when half of us is somewhere else and the other half is doing God knows what. Yes. I mean, I don't know what we have going on there, and I'm trying to get to the point, mm -hmm. but my mouth is still running. Yeah, I brain, can see that. My brain hasn't caught up to it yet. Yeah. But anyway, so what we have decided, Saturday mornings... We are coming back to you live. We don't know the exact date yet, but Saturday mornings we have elected from 10 to 11 in the 80s Allies Garage, mm -hmm. where we're going to have big fun. We're going to catch you up on the things that happened during the week. We're still going to do segments like this because this way we can get a little bit more in-depth. But as you know, the toy industry, the movie industry, the cartoon industry, it does not stop because we want it to. So to keep on that train, we're going to take the express route. So please join us at 80s Allies Garage on Saturdays from 10 to 11. That announcement coming up shortly, and then we're going to release it. And in order to do that, you need to like us on Facebook so that you can find it easy. So, by all means, please go over to the Book of Faces, find 80s Allies, and give us a like. Yes, please. Absolutely. And you know what? Uh, you know, for, for Larry, it's Jim. For Jim, it's Larry. We'll see you next time. When I think about it, it always makes me smile. Yeah.